This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition, as always. I do hope you're well. That was me having a little bit of fun with this guitar, my latest acquisition, an Epiphone inspired by Gibson Les Paul Custom. Um, done a couple of videos with this guitar. Now I'm not sure how many have gone out, but um, there's a few videos uh, that you're going to be seeing this guitar in, and um, it's what we're talking about today. Before we get into that, though, let's um, just remind you that there is a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats for that little solo that we kicked off with. Um, along with a clip of me playing it and the jam track i was playing along with there uh, all of that is up on my patreon page uh, as i'm sure you know by now three dollars or two pound fifty a month gets you access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these youtube videos a massive massive thank you to each and every one of you who support me in that or any of the other ways all of which are linked down below in the description so what we're we talking about today then well you might recall that when i uh, got this guitar it's, i bought it used on ebay it had this um, this paint chip on the back there. And I said when I was um, basically doing the, the initial kind of couple of videos where I was unboxing and uh, talking about this guitar that I had an idea to fix that. And that is what we're going to be looking at today. Um, I will warn you that things didn't quite turn out as planned, but nevertheless, um, I managed to save the day and um, end up with a result that I'm reasonably happy with. Uh, it certainly ended up looking better than what you can see there. So let's get into it now and take a look at how I ended up making that little chip in the paint go away. Okay then, let's take a look at how I'm going to attempt to fix this paint chip here. Um, what you should do initially if you've got something that's a bit flakier around the edge than this is just kind of make sure that all of the kind of loose flaky stuff is gone but there's nothing like that here um, this is probably not going to be an invisible repair but it is going to make it look better than it does already with the help of this stuff here this is just a bottle of white nail varnish um, which I uh, purchased earlier and we're just going to start dropping it in like this uh, just starting to build it up you, you're basically going to need plenty of this because we want it to be proud of the actual finish of the guitar so just put it in that's not a, 
a bad match actually I was surprised when I was shopping for this just how many different shades of white there are so that is pretty let's put a little bit more on better to add too much and that that's it right so I'm looking at that now I don't know how this is coming across on the camera I don't know how the audio is coming across either actually because I'm just on the um, on the internal mic on the camera but that is now um, covered that paint chip completely and then the idea is we're going to uh, let it dry and then come back to it see if it needs any more and if it does we'll give it some and when we've finally got enough uh, varnish on there to um, you know to to basically make the 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 hole and in the paint go away we're going to sand it back with some um, fine sanding so we'll uh, come back to it in a moment okay so several hours later and um after multiple coats of the uh, of the white nail polish it's it's kind of dry, as dry as it's going to be i think i'm going to start trying to level it out and uh, basically using these things here these are crimson guitar uh, fret erasers um, just nice and soft but abrasive enough as well I'm starting they come in four different grades there's um, there's coarse there's medium there's fine and there's super fine I'm going to start with the uh, with the medium here and we're just going to start taking this down and at this point no doubt I'll end up speeding up the footage and playing some music to uh, get things to basically make it look like you you're not just watching a blog sanding or rubbing away at the finish on the guitar Go on, we are okay the, um, the the fret eraser was leaving a little bit of residue so I'm gonna start using just a little bit of uh, abrasive paper here just a little bit of emery paper Yeah, as you can see, this isn't really working at all. Um, it's it just basically um, the, the the varnish, even though it's been left frankly overnight, just isn't um, it isn't dry. It's still it's still tacky, and as I said earlier, it's about as dry as it's going to be. So I'm going to have to rethink this. Okay, um, another little trip to the shops to pick up this product here um, basically let's put it that way on uh, what can you see that's, oh there we go yeah white furniture touch up pen um, so I've already had a little bit of a go with it and you can see the results there and um, it seems to have worked um, I don't know why the nail varnish thing didn't work um, I have done that before previously on another guitar admittedly it was black um, and that went swimmingly well but for some reason this white nail varnish just didn't want to uh, cooperate so um, this my computer's making funny noises this white furniture touch up pen I've given it a little bit of a coating with that as I said at the outset this is um, I was never expecting an invisible repair but if we just cut now to the uh, the before shot, I think we can agree that this kind of looks just a little bit better, which is what I was aiming for. So, um, there we have it. Um, not a perfect repair, but it looks better than it did when I started. And I'll take that as a win. So, yeah, the nail varnish thing didn't work, uh, which surprises me because you can see on the back wall there behind me, uh, just to the side there, next to the acoustic, there's a Fender um, Nashville Telecaster on there, which um, had a little bit of an accident not long after it arrived, and it caused a paint chip on the kind of back shoulder here. Um, 
and fix that with some black nail polish on the the black part of the sunburst and it's uh, it turned out really rather well so i was kind of assuming that it was going to work uh, here on this guitar but i don't know um you know I, I, I don't know anything about nail varnish maybe i've got the wrong brand or, or whatever you know and uh, i i don't know i don't know why it uh, it didn't take as well but as i say that um furniture touch-up pen certainly seemed to uh, bring it back to life a little bit if we take a little bit of a look at the before and after uh you can see there as i said in that clip it's um it's not an invisible repair and i said that's not what i was um you know really going for i was just wanting to make it look a little bit more presentable than it did and i think it's fair to say that um, I've achieved that. So, you know, mission accomplished, I would say. And that is pretty much the video for today, folks. And I um, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it informative about how to fix a paint chip on a guitar and, more importantly, how not to, possibly. Um, if, you if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like while you're at it? Don't forget the live stream every Friday 5 p.m. UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and a whole manner of other things. Great way to kick off the weekend, and I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.